and good morning. It's a lovely, lovely day here at Pormani. The weather's going to be great. Going fishing right now to take advantage of all those birds out there on the point. Good morning, Krabi. Hello. It's a good 800 meter walk to the point, so hey, the birds are there again. <laughs> Always looking for plastic. There's some HDPE, I'll get that later though. There's so much plastic on this particular beach. There's some more green plastic. Green's the flavor of the day today. But it's mainly over there. That's the place where the plastic seems to congregate the most on a very high or high water mark. And believe it or not, it goes down two meters or more. So they're never ever gonna be an end to this stuff. We're never gonna clear it all. But we may as well start. So yeah, if you wanna get involved, get in touch. We're doing some melting this afternoon after some fishing and surfing. Catch you then. Walk through it. It's too far that way around. Impossible to walk this piece with shoes on. Coming off. I don't know what the hell those guys could do. Doesn't look like much, but that was a heavy crossing. My feet disappeared, my legs up to the knees in that quicksand, so I'm going to go over the top of the point this time, there's no way I'm going to try to go around there, but I better hurry, going as fast as I can, but those fish will be there, I think, they are right there. Yee! This house has got a real sad story, it was part of the massacres in the wartime, many people were killed in this hotel. The souls of the dead are here. Can you hear them? The birdies. Wow. Damn, the sun beat me here. <laughs> Some fish there. Bon dia, amigos. Down your fish. They caught one on a hand line. And these guys don't need drones in Mozambique. They got kayaks. So this guy's got his torium rigged up with loads of line. And this dude's gonna paddle his baits out for him to the surf. Baits on. These guys are both got a bait for the Mabunos though, it's not for them. And they catch good fish off here, big springer the other day. They even catch big bone fish, but mainly it's just uh, kingies, yeah. What's the value, senor? Yeah. for the bait taken out. Even got the girls here. Whole set up. Spectators. Instant fishing crowd. The local has come to believe it. But they're cool. This is my big friend Gummy. Sponsored by Gummy Lures. And Mado, of course. Grabbing the grapnel, sticking them into the trace, and he's got the, the family, colonials. He's going to take their baits out to see. Okay, they told the guy to stop, and he's dropping his baits a solid 200 meters out to see. There's no reef or anything there, but it's, uh, it's the hot spot, that's for sure. Gummy. He's checking for his unbreak. He doesn't trust his mate. You can tell him to go. There's a bit of a break. There goes Gummy. Two horsepower. He's a monster, this guy. He can travel that thing fast. But... guys are shouting for the other guy to stop. He's gone even further with the second bait. That could be 250 or 300 yards out to sea. Nobody needs a drone. Just 
be some pedal power. It's a bit of fun down here. They've got like seven or eight lines out. And they've just had a strike behind me. That must have been a little cooter that screamed off. And then the guy didn't really set the hook. I don't know what he did wrong, but the fish is down. But yeah, we'll stick around here and see if we can uh, glean a few things from fishing with plastic, fantastic drones, kayaks. They've got a hook up and the Mabuno is taking the road. All the, all the hard work is done by the guides and ghillies and kayak drone experts. And now this guy's gonna pull in a little fishy. I'll update you shortly. Fast. So this is where trick works, eh? Lucky it's a local guy. He also managed to get his line out there and he's striking like crazy. The a nice old rod and reel. All happening over here. The one turned into a shark, the other one's got a tangle. And this dude is up the rock to keep the line off the rock. The Mabora is shouting at everybody as usual. This is trying his hardest. And that hasn't stopped since we started. The guy's not stopped. The other guy's got a cooter on. He reckons this is Sarah. I spoke to him this morning. He reckons he gets some all the time. There's the sinker and his fish is coming. Sarah, amigo. Sarah, ben, senor. Sarah. He's got a nice little cooter on the go here. I've been trying to catch the whole time, but I can't cast as far as these guys' electric, I mean, plastic paddling drones can go. Hey, but Rad, what a nice little fish. These guys are absolutely professional. But the fish has turned, yeah, into the rocks. Now uh, it's going to turn its head the other way. It's going the wrong way. As you can see, the fish down there in that foamy. Turn its head, buddy. He has a fish right here. You need a gaff. Put a gaff. Waves are coming. Get the gaff. Oh, it's a springer. It's a huge springer. Flip for now. Oh. That's a big springer, hey? Jeez. There you go. My goodness. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen a spring of that big. That one not senor. That's a trophy if I ever saw a trophy fish. He ain't getting released, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, exciting morning here at uh, Pomeni in Mozambique. Uh, that's a lovely spring. I haven't seen anything like that for ages. But now we're going to go back to the camp where I am and hook up with the other guys. And we're going to melt plastic today in the two, three molds we made yesterday out of concrete. It's not the best material, but it certainly does work. And we will pick up on that scene shortly.